Let's talk about data engineering and the simple truth that you need to know about data engineering careers. In the last years, we've seen exponential growth when it comes to data engineering jobs, and I literally see this continuing in the short to midterm future. Now, this growth comes off the back of data scientists, really, because businesses started to realize the importance of data assets and that they need good architectures and pipelines in order to deliver data to downstream users, for example, like analysts and scientists. So now companies are dumping data scientists and they're loading up on data engineers. And the year-on-year -year growth rate is about 50% for data engineering jobs. And the money is really good, so definitely jump in because the water is warm for engineers but just like any other job you know there are a couple of aspects of data engineering that you should be aware of you know before thinking to start a career in this field and if you're a data engineer already you might be well familiar with some of these points and the first one is that data engineering is primarily seen as a support role to the core business team especially when it comes to product teams and due to the fact that roles you know like product managers uh, data analysts or data scientists uh, these roles sit closer to the product team many times you know data engineering isn't even up for discussion when starting a new feature or use case but at the same time they need to support all of these roles and provide them with readily available data and pretty much always be reliable so it often feels like you're not really appreciated for the crucial role that you have within the company and the reason why this happens is that data engineering isn't revenue generating it's pretty much business support for product companies unless you actually sell data services and then you're definitely the breadwinner so if you really want praise you gotta work for a data consultancy but otherwise you know if you just work product you might just need to rely solely on your data team for that but to be honest this matters less you just got to be aware that you're going to be a little bit detached you know, when it comes to the business outcome of a product or a use case that you helped with. So having said this, if you love focusing on the technology, if you like designing data architectures, if you like building data pipelines, if you like access control, you know, data governance, and you're comfortable with being a little bit removed, you know, from the core business team, then data engineering is a great fit for you. Now, the second challenge, but one that I see both as a challenge and as a benefit, is that data engineering keeps evolving, right? And every month you got new tools, you know, that you might need to learn in order to stay up to date and then deliver well on your job responsibilities. Also what you learned like, I don't know, like three, four years ago might not be relevant anymore. And many pipelines that you built, they're gonna need updating. So a lot of work that you're gonna be doing is to learn new technologies and then migrate old systems to new systems. And that's pretty much the job really. The good news is that data engineering isn't likely to be automated specifically for this reason, because not even large language models can learn and adapt that fast to new tools. And this constant need, you know, for learning and adapting can be pretty challenging for many, but it's also exciting for those that love knowing and learning new technologies. Data engineering is both rewarding and challenging at the same time. It's a job that requires you to be tech savvy, you need to be a good problem solver, and pretty much a skilled communicator. Because if you love technology, right, then continuous learning and adapting to new tools then definitely data engineering may be the perfect fit for you. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of what it's like to be a data engineer. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.